Hey everybody, Merry Christmas. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I got my festive holiday sweater on and I'm here in my living room and I have our Christmas tree here. We have our stockings here all hung up, ready to go. And all around the house, we have Christmas decorations up. What we like to do here at home is we take uh, the usual stuff off the wall and we put up Christmas decorations. We take down uh, paintings and pictures and we hang up all kinds of different Christmas stuff and we put them up on the, on the walls and on the shelves. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, but I'm here at our Christmas tree because I want to talk about that. I want to talk about Christmas trees. Now, I'm guessing you uh, probably have a Christmas tree in your home. It could be could be really big, bigger than this. It could be a small little tree. It could be like a kind of a Charlie Brown tree. You know, just a little tree with a little ornament, right? Um, any kind of tree. But I'm guessing you have a Christmas tree in your house. And I grew up having one. Uh, my family, we always decorated the tree. Sometimes we went out and cut down our own. Sometimes we went to a tree lot and bought one that was already cut down. And, and for a long time, we had trees that were artificial, that weren't natural. But this here is a, is a real tree because Mrs. Bjorklund loves to have a real Christmas tree. And you can see we have a lot of ornaments on it. Some of them are homemade. Some of them are from the store. Some of them are gifts from other people that they've given us. Some are sparkly, some are shiny, all kinds of different ornaments. This tree is unique to me and my family, just like your tree is unique to you and yours. But what really makes, I mean, there's a whole lot that makes a Christmas tree special. It's kind of cool to take uh, a tree and to, to bring it into your house and decorate it, have it take up uh, this space. It's you can't really ignore this tree. You walk into the house, you're going to see it, the lights, um, the sparkles, it draws your eyes to it, right? It's really beautiful, and you want to look at it. It makes its presence known. Just kind of like the star uh, in the Christmas story made the birth of Jesus known to the Magi, who traveled all the way from the east to come and see baby Jesus. But as I think about the tree, a lot of things I think of actually when I think about a tree. We have here I have a star at the top. The top you might have an angel at the top of yours. But the the star and the angel both serve to kind of announce the birth of Jesus. Right? The star for the Magi and the angel, if you remember the angel announced the birth of Jesus to the shepherds who were watching their flocks in the field by night. And that's up at the top, right? With the stars and the angels, they're, they're up here, and they announce to everyone down below the good things uh, that God has done, the good news of Jesus. And the tree, the tree is, it's round. It's kind of like a triangle. It's more of a cone. It right? starts out skinny at the top and gets wider at the bottom. And I like to think of that as kind of like how God's love works. Right? It starts up above with God. And it comes down to earth and it covers it all. It gets spread out far and wide. It's like God's love spread far and wide. And then underneath the tree, um, you can't see that because the way the camera's set up. And right now there's no, there's no presents under our tree. But come Christmas time, there's going to be a bunch of presents under here uh, for the boys and for us and for other people that we'll be sharing gifts with. And I like to think of the presence under the tree as kind of as a sign of God's gift for us. Like, that comes down from on high and comes on and spreads out to the world. The presence kind of a sign of God's love being poured out and shared. And the tree, of course, we know is green. If you watched the video on the Advent wreath, you know that the evergreen is a sign of kind of eternal life. 
here in the northern hemisphere when winter comes and the trees lose their leaves the grass starts to brown and life kind of goes away it's the pine trees or the evergreen trees that stay green all year long and that reminds us that god's love continues all year long right it doesn't end it's always there it's always green So for hundreds of years, people have been using evergreens like this uh, for trees or wreaths or garlands. They bring them into their home in the middle of winter to remind them that God's love endures forever and that it never, ever fades. So, Christmas trees. They're, they're, they're wonderful things to have in our homes. They're wonderful reminders of God's love for us. And I'm so thankful uh, for ours. I'm thankful for the one that we have over in the church that our Christmas tree committee uh, cut down and put up and, and decorated for us. So what what I'd like you to do uh, today or this week uh, with, your, with your folks is to just maybe spend some time looking at your tree. Looking at the ornaments and maybe telling stories about where they came from and why they matter to you. I have one here that is very special to me. It's the first ornament that I got when Mrs. Bjorklund and I first started dating. It says Anna and David on it and the year we started being together. That's very special to me. And we have a whole bunch of other ones that have a lot of meaning to us, and that, that make us happy. So spend some time with your tree. Look at the ornaments. Think about which ones are special to you, the ones that you might have made, and the ones that are special to your parents. Talk about why they are special to you. So many good things. So many good things for Christmas. It's a wonderful time of year. I'm so thankful for this season. I'm thankful for you. And uh, know that I miss you, friends. I, I, I long to be able to, to see you again, and I hope you're doing so very well. And I hope that as we get closer to Christmas, that you get all the more excited, that you remember just how much you are loved, how God pours his love down from heaven to all the earth. Merry Christmas, friends. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next week.